I was at Nova Festival. Uh, we dance, we kind of have fun, you know. It's a, a electronic festival. Everybody comes to enjoy and be together. And then, you know, the missile started. We didn't hear the alarm first because they didn't turn off the music. A few minutes after the, the first missiles, they turn off the music. And then, you know, they started yelling, just run, take everything you have on you and just run. You know, it's like 3,000 people running away. You don't really see nothing. You just run, run. People falling. I fell down and then I got up and uh, a friend saw me just emerge uh, from the cars. He took me and he told me, come on, we have to go. Uh, he was very paranoid. So uh, lucky for me uh, because of him, we, 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 we've we been able to get to a car uh really fast, we started driving, we just ran away from there. We didn't stop. We saw a few terrorists uh, knocked on the ground. And I think the first people that uh, went off the party, they they, they had a, uh, they didn't survive because the terrorists came. And the second wave that uh, went off the party was, was okay, but everyone that left, uh, stayed there, uh, got slaughtered. We thought it just, okay, it's regular missiles, it's just, it's in the south of Israel, uh, they get missiles all the time, um, they suffer from this like 20 years, and we thought it's a regular scenario, which uh, a few missiles going up and then it's gonna stop in a few minutes and, and the party's gonna keep going. But it's not the same. Uh, we saw we saw those parachutes in the sky, and we understood it's a very very hard scenario. Uh, people that are you know ran away, we, they understood what kind of scenario it is. I can't describe the feeling because you know you're kind of you're running away. I was not scared. I think only after I realized in in what kind of uh, uh, event or thing I was, then I was. I still didn't, I, I still wasn't afraid, but I was shocked. It's the first time it happens in Israel. I think that the people that saw those forces did not survive because they came with the uh, trucks loaded with uh, terrorists. They didn't like came two people and then, you know, you, you can see them. They came full for like six or seven people on trucks and tens of tens of trucks uh, that rushed into the parties and to the kibbutzim near the party. I think that they didn't really know about the party, they just found out about it and it was like, I'm sorry, I, I don't want to say it, but it sounds like jackpot for them. We had to leave right now, you cannot stop. You saw those trucks, you cannot stop. The people who stopped got uh, shot to their uh, cars few of them really survived, a few of them don't. Since there's a lot of dead people, you heard, uh, you're still hearing stories about those people and those kid uh, the, the people that got kidnapped, you still hear about them. I don't think it's gonna, uh, it's gonna end soon. Um, I feel like I'm in an ongoing event since I came home, I took my stuff, I got on a, my, my, I took my equipment and then went to, straight to the army to finish this. I was uh, running at first, but now we're gonna we're gonna fight against them. So I went back home. I tried to contact my my, my commander and tell them the story. He understood. I took one day off, and then I uh, I went to the army. You have to do it as quick as you can. It's if you don't, I think I think I'll have a, a ongoing trauma. But now this is this is the healing process for me. You cannot really get mourned because you have to wait until everything is over. It's not over for us. For me, it didn't over. It's still ongoing uh, until it's really over, and then we're gonna we're gonna see all the uh, families of our lost friends, and we're gonna mourn on them. But as for now, we have to fight back. We have to be strong. We have to we have to take care of our families and the rest of the rest of people of Israel. Um, you cannot show weakness. Right now, there's no weakness. We have to be strong, very strong. I don't feel any any weakness. I have the friends here. I have my army friends. Uh, you share with them a few of the stories just to, you know, to get it out. And it feels good. It feels good to get it out. And it makes you stronger. It makes us stronger.
we came to a party. We came to have fun, to dance, to, to, to feel the love and the vibes. And this terror attack was horrified, but horrible. But now we are strong. We took our stuff. We took our weapons, and, and we're gonna fight back. Now there's no running. Uh, at first we were running, but now there's no running. <laughs>